Hi, hello. Uh, I'm Yusuke Sekikawa from Denso IT Laboratory, Japan. I will now present our event-based neural network called EventNet. There have been a few studies attempting to model event stream using artificial neural networks. Many of the existing approach convert sparse event into dense frame representation to utilize a sophisticated architecture such as CNNs. This approach works well in terms of accuracy. However, they cannot make good use of the sparsity of the event stream. Thus, they cannot scale to the higher frame rate or higher uh, finer temporal resolution. Our goal is to realize an efficient event-based algorithm. Let me first formalize the problems we consider. Our goal was to realize an end-to-end -end trainable neural network F, which models the relations between set of events EJ and a bold EJ uh, with the target value YJ. We consider to process set of events within a fixed time interval tau. Event comes at no uniform rate. It means that the network need to process the variable rate, variable length data. Ideally, it will process incoming data in event-wise event manner immediately as it receives the new one. One of the most important notes when we process set of event is that the order of incoming event in a temporal density may change even if the same scene is observed with the same camera angle motion. Therefore, function f need to be invariant against the data point permutation in short time window while having sensibility to capture longer time behavior. Our work is inspired by PointNet, which was designed to process set of point cloud directly without densification. To process the point cloud data, permutation of input is a major problem. For example, given a 3D point cloud of bunny, the network is expected to classify it as bunny even if the order of point cloud was changed. PointNet approximates the point set function using symmetric functions such as max, making it invariant to permutation of input point cloud. PointNet can be applied to process event data as it can handle permutation of events. However, it was designed to process set of inputs in a batch manner and cannot process sequential data recursively. When we consider to use PointNet to process set of events, the input to the network will be XYP and delta T, where delta T is elapsed time of events relative to the newest event in the window. Therefore, DT of the and J events changes as new events, which has newer timestamp arrives. And this makes the real-time processing infeasible. More, fi more specifically, most of the NJ events that has already been processed by MLPH need to be processed again and again using updating DT as long as it is within a temporal window. And the NJ set of high-dimensional vector which we need to compute max changes as the new event arrives. The single cycle of these MLP and max operations are themselves intensive since NJ may be hundreds of thousands in common scenario. Furthermore, these two computations should run on event rate, which could be millions per second. To overcome the above computational difficulty in processing the event stream, we propose EventNet which process the sparse event signal recursively rather than processing them in batch manner. So recursive, process, recursive event wise processing, lookup table, realization of MLP, and two module architecture are the three key technical contributions of EventNet. I will briefly explain each of the components in the subsequent slides. The first contribution is recursive processing to avoid computation of age, we replace it by composition of another age followed by temporal coding function C. Obviously, by this replacement, we need to compute age only once for each observed event. However, I want to note that C and Max still need to compute for all and J events every time a new event arrives. 
we designed a temporal coding function C, which decays and loaded input linearly to elastic time, so that the composition of max and C to be recursive. As a result, we get the following event net model, which has a favorable characteristic for sequential event processing. That is, we only need to compute H and C only once for each event, not for all and J vectors, and max is computed between only two vectors rather than all and J vectors. Um, finally, permutation of events that has the same timestamp does not change the result as desired. Um, I will skip the detailed explanation of our temporal coding function C and max. Um, please come to the poster session for the detail. Um, the, our second contribution is lookup table realization of MLP. Uh, because the spatial position and priority of event camera is discrete, the combination of input for function H is finite, and there are only double times H times two patterns. Therefore, we can pre compute the result of the MLP for inference. This is considerably faster than deep MLP H, which contains a large number of product sum operations. On the right, pre-computed high-dimensional vector is shown. The last one is uh, asynchronous two-module architecture. Depending on application, computing the output at event rate will be unnecessarily fast. To avoid the wasteful, wasteful computation of output, we have uh, separ we s have separated the network into two modules that work asynchronously with each other. The first module updates the global feature at variable event rate, and the second module computes the output on demand from the application. Usually, it is a uniform rate. The network structure of EventNet differs in training and inference. In principle, EventNet can be trained recursively but it does not allow to use the batch normalization. We adapt the batch structure in training to utilize the batch normalization and also accelerate the training with parallelization. We evaluate the performance of EventNet using publicly available dataset captured using real event camera. In summary, the EventNet achieved a performance that is comparable to PointNet while realizing uh, less than one microsec processing for single event, proving it can achieve real-time processing up to one mega event with single CPU core. Uh, thank you for listening. Come visit to the poster session on Tuesday afternoon. Thank you. <laughs>